encourage you to use do files throughout this course so that you have a permanent editable record of your work. Let us review a few tips that will help you create do files and use these handouts effectively. I will also show you resources to get extra Stata help. A good statistical programmer makes notes in their code to label sections and documents questions or interpretations that will be easily forgotten in the weeks after the initial data cleaning or analysis is performed. Stata does not read text that is commented out. Comments appear as green text in Stata. To comment out a single line, start it with an asterisk or two or more hash marks. Programmers cleverly use asterisks and slashes to make multi-line section headers in their code. To comment out several lines of text, use slash asterisk before the text and asterisk slash after the text. To add comments on the same line after a command, use double hash marks. This is helpful when you're documenting questions or notes to yourself. In this example, I create a summary table for a variable and make a note to investigate why 518 kids are missing observations. Triple hash marks tell Stata to look on the next line for the rest of the command. Sometimes it is helpful to make your do file more readable to break long commands into multiple lines. For example, I often list variables vertically in regression models, using triple hash marks after each variable. Throughout these videos and handouts, I provide code examples. I use triple hash marks when I break commands across multiple lines so that you can copy the text directly into your own do file and it will run. You can investigate your Stata command questions by typing help and a command name or description in the Stata command line. For example, if you want to learn about commands for survey data analysis, you might type help survey. A viewer window will open. In this example, we see that Stata has a whole family of survey commands. Selecting any of these commands will take you to more information about the command's syntax or format and its options. There is a search box in the upper right corner of the help window to search for additional help within Stata. Let us stay on this survey set help page for a moment. Do you see how some of the command options have a few letters underlined? Strata, for example, has STR underlined. This is because the first three letters are unique among all options associated with the survey set command. If you type STR or STRA, Stata will know that you are calling the Strata option. You will see command abbreviations used widely by Stata programmers, including in this course. Tab is short for tabulate, BR is short for browse, D is short for describe, and so on. If you are ever confused, you can type help and the abbreviated command into the Stata command window to open the help page with the full name and description of that command. There are other ways to be efficient in your coding. If you want to refer to several variables that are all lined up next to one another in the data set, you do not have to list each variable individually. You can type the name of the first variable and the last variable in the series and simply put a dash between. For example, to keep the variables V001, V002, V003, V004, and V005, which are all lined up next to each other in the data set, you need only type keep V001 dash V005. We use asterisks when we want to refer to any variable that has the same starting characters but different ending characters. For example, here are 16 variables in a data set that relate to birth information. All 16 variables start with the letter B. By typing B asterisk, we refer to all variables that start with B without typing out each variable name. Throughout this course, I link to short videos made by StataCore, the producers of Stata. Here is a separate Stata starter kit that I recommend by the University of California, Los Angeles. If you are comfortable with Stata but are new to survey data analysis, you will find this University of North Carolina Chapel Hill resource useful. You can also check out A Gentle Introduction to Stata by Alan Acock, a booklet that is available online as a PDF, and Stata's compilation of online resources for learning Stata. As always, you can go to populationsurveyanalysis.com for a PDF version of this video and other learning materials that support your analysis of a population survey dataset.